Okay guys, so I am finally about to do my car vlog. I've been having this car for months now and I've just been prolonging the process, pushing it off, pushing it off. So today I'm finally about to give y'all all the tea and all the specs and show y'all my new ride. So stay tuned. Stranger, it's been a minute since we last kissed. Just got in town, and I won't let humans clouds all in the sky. I remember making this post, and the post was like it was an all white Range Rover with the black kit. And I remember posting it, and I was just like, I'm getting this same one. Like, I love this car. Anyway, I posted that. So, y'all, manifestation is real. I posted it three years ago, and here I am in the same fucking car only difference is i got the black one instead of the white one i really wanted the white one but i ain't gonna lie i fuck with the black one the black one clean too and i always could paint it or wrap it white this is one of my dream cars i'm not gonna tell y'all what my other dream car is just stay tuned for the video because i'm getting it i'm getting it i'm getting everything that i want out of this life okay period so anyway um definitely getting that but i'm about to give you guys a quick tour of the car um i'm still learning I, I learn something new every day i'm still learning like the different specs and stuff so forgive me if i don't know everything i'm gonna try to do my best to use the correct terminology and stuff like that this is the 2021 range rover evoke and this is the grill this car is so beautiful so beautiful so I'm just gonna give you guys a walk around of the entire vehicle so you can see how clean and sleek it is. Just gonna do a full walk around. Evoke. I'm gonna go up because I'm actually trying to hide my license plate. We don't need that to show. <laughs> doesn't matter I guess and it's the view for me look at that view when the car is locked the side mirrors are going to be closed and the door handle is going to be closed as well i love this look that is one of my favorite things about this vehicle is that the doors are pushed in i love that it looks very very sleek and just presidential i love it so here's the key here's the key okay so when you get in that's gonna pop up that's gonna pop up it's hot so let me start the car up y'all So, of course, it's pushed to start. And once it starts up, the panoramic roof is going to slide back. I had this car for a couple months now, and I'm still learning as I go. So, I'm just going to show y'all what I know. Now, I do know on this screen, you can switch it to whatever you want it to be. I like to keep it on the map because it's just easier for me and i like to know where i'm at at all times there is the head up display as you can see and the um rear view mirror is actually a camera so if you want to just pull this down right and see it turns into a camera so look that's what's behind us so that'll help you if you're bagging up but you know you're gonna already have your regular backup camera since the back of the truck is already slanted this helps out tremendously tremendously so and of course you have your eyeglass holder y'all i sit so close to the steering wheel <laughs> you got your uh, mirrors with the lights on it right here and then um 
these little numbers right here you can actually save your seat setting so of course i sit with my um seat kind of close to the steering wheel i like my steering wheel at a certain height so i think i'm one yeah so i just press one but the car is automatically set to go to one but like let's say if you share cars or you let people use your cars they can save their setting so mine is set to one if somebody else is in my car once they change it it's not gonna save unless you click this m i think yeah i think the m stands for memory but yeah so as soon as you get in the car the car seat and the steering wheel is going to automatically adjust and you have two cup holders a small cup holder and a big cup holder oh and this car has apple carplay of course i just don't have it plugged up right now and with the cameras if you pull the cameras up it's going to show you everything around the car i ride with it in comfort but you can switch to eco comfort of course sport and this is for grass gravel snow this is for mud this is for sand and this is for the auto terrain response okay and also i think like if you're on a hill or something it'll hold it in place and so for your seats you have the heated seats which i don't want that on but if you want to use the heated seats and turn that up and down but we definitely don't need that we probably won't ever need that in miami <laughs> you have it on your passenger side as well and so for your climate control so if you want it on your feet you can do that and this is how you adjust it right here I like to put my brake hold on. So like if you're at a red light and your car comes to a complete stop, the, what the brake hold does, it holds your car in place. So you can actually remove your foot off of the brake and it'll hold your car in brake. And here's the auto shut off. That's basically when, you know, like when you're at a red light, how your car will shut off and then cut on. Some people hate it, but it doesn't bother me. So I keep it on, but if you want to turn it off, it's real easy to turn it off. And so on here, you have your, you can look at your vehicle dimensions. You can look, look at your vehicle dimensions. You can lift it, lower it, or whatever you desire. Maximum four by four. Y'all, I don't know what none of this means. <laughs> so anyway, low traction launch. I'm not even about to click on it. Eco data not really sure what any of this stuff means it does come with navigation the navigation system not sure if all of them come with it i'm pretty sure it's probably like an upgrade um package or something and here's the little console area it's pretty small but it has the charging port let me show you guys the back look at the view the view for me so here's the back oh and it has that little sensor right there in the back seat as well so like if a bike or somebody's walking by it's gonna light up to warn you to use caution when you're opening your door so you won't have an accident there are vents in the back and this is your coat hanger. That's how you know this car is made for a boss because it comes with a freaking coat hanger, okay? <laughs> so I haven't used this yet. I actually wanted to take it down, but I didn't even figure out how to do it. So yeah, it comes with coat hangers and I love the panoramic roof. This is my favorite thing about this truck. Absolute favorite thing. Um. Got your cup holders in the back. Let me show you guys the trunk. It's a pretty decent size. And you can slide this back, this little thing. And to close the trunk, of course, all you do is hit this little button. I'm not sure if the 2020 has that feature. I think this is a newer feature, but yeah. the 
outside. And as you can see, the door handles are out because the car is unlocked. But once you lock it, the door handles are going to go back in. So if you program the car, like you set up an account or whatever, once you start the car up, it'll say, good morning, Kelsey, or whatever your name is. Good morning or good afternoon. But I haven't set mine up yet, so shame on me, but I'll get around to it eventually. So, going for a little drive so i have it in comfort right now it's not in sport or anything so it's a pretty smooth drive um, i feel like it could be better on gas though but this is my first time actually owning a truck so that may be the norm for trucks not sure but overall it's a very comfortable ride this is what it looks like at nighttime you have the LED headlights here's a closer look okay and you unlock the car the Range Rover pop up on the ground one of my favorite parts about it and it also does that whenever you open the car door so i think that's super cool all right guys so that pretty much concludes my car tour of my 2021 range rover evoke i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have a range rover or you're thinking about getting one give me some feedback let me know what you think let me know what type of range rover you're thinking about getting if you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it.